What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel Team Gridlock here. Of course, I'm your host Henrico and today is our Card for Vanguard Premium Market Watch. Meaning in this video, we're only going to go over cards in premium format to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. Now, before we, we begin, remember to comment, like, subscribe, check out our channel for more videos such as deck profiles, match videos, more Mark Watch videos. Every Thursday is going to be our standard Mark Watch and every Friday is going to be our Card for Vanguard Premium Mark Watch. So, Hit the bell button for, for notifications to know when our videos are up and running. And yeah, uh, so before so the, before we start the market watch, a few things that I want to get off my chest. Uh, I did make a statement yesterday saying that we're probably not going to do case openings anymore. And a lot of people have actually messaged me on Messenger asking me what happened or things that bad. Is there a money issue? First things first, there's no money issue whatsoever. Trust me, there's no money issue whatsoever. Um, like I said before, the main reason why I'm probably going to stop doing case openings for card for card for Vanguard is because it's just a lot of the product, a lot of them are either, I'm sorry, a few of them are, are hits, some of them are misses, and a lot of them are regrets. Hits are a good case where you can make your money back. A miss is where cases where you go, where you, you where you either make, um, where you make a breaking point of making back just your money or going a little bit minus by like by like a few bucks or a hundred bucks and regrets is going minus on the case by 200 or more and a lot of cases from for craft vanguard recently a lot of them were regrets <laughs> like a lot of them you couldn't make your money back even after a few months uh the only hit set that we that we just got recently is is um uh, is bto8 i believe with uh, phantasmal steed liberation and that set was a hit Aerosteed Liberation was um, was a miss because again, the main money cards that carry that set was Gauntlet Buster. That's it, and maybe the gift markers. But again, a lot of sets for Car Five Vanguard were just either misses or regrets. So again, if you guys want to buy cases, I'm not telling you guys not to buy cases. Go ahead, buy cases. I wish you guys the best of luck to pull all the rarities out of your case. I wish you guys the best of luck to get to get all the broken pulls out of your case. But for now. Team Gridlock, we're not gonna record any more case openings. If we do, we possibly possibly might open might do a one case opening of the Great Nature set. That's pretty much it for now. And yeah, so besides me rambling, let's get on to, to, to the mark watch to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and you guys already know which cards are plus. So you guys already know Boost Road has released more information of, of what cards we're, that we're getting. We're getting Gear Chronicles, but we're getting Chrono Chrono Fang Tiger. Chrono Fang Tiger is making a return for Gear Chronicles. And a lot of people are jumping on the hype train for Gear, for Gear Chronicles. Now, the first card that I want to go over is Chrono Visor Heritage, the GR for Gear Chronicles in GB14. This card is still a broken card. It's a it's a meta-breaking card. Now, there's actually nine listings. A few, there's four listings. For less than $5, after that, it's going to become a $6 to $7 card. But then after that, there's a huge, not a huge, a big price jump to $10. $10. Now, if you actually look at the listings, there's not too many copies of those listings. There's one listing for two copies. There's one listing for, for four copies. And then after that, it's, it's going lower and lower. So possibly Chrono Visor Heritage actually might go up and go up a little bit more in the market. Right now they're holding at, at three to four bucks, but potentially it actually might go up to five to six to six dollars. Now for Chrono Jet Dragon Z, the triple R, not the SP, but the triple R's are slowly going up in the market with 14 listings. There's two listings, less than five bucks. After that, they're heading towards a six dollar range, and then eventually it's gonna become a seven to nine to nine dollar card again. So again. The Triple R Stride Rig for, for Gear Chronicles is slowly going back up in the market. Not too surprised because, again, this is one of the best Stride Breaks in Car Vanguard, in Premium, that's making a comeback, which I'm happy to see. But a lot of people are questioning it because, again, because again, this Stride Break is amazing with Zodiac Time Beasts. And a lot of people are saying that Zodiac Time Beasts are not going to make a comeback just because uh, Chrono Fane Tiger is coming back doesn't mean Zodiac Time Beasts will come back. So 
Comment down below. Let me know if you guys actually think Chrono, Chrono Jet Dragon Z will make a comeback or not make a comeback. Fun fact, the heal trigger for Link Jokers is still actually a value and it looks like it's going back up in the market just a little tiny bit. There's 10 listings, the cheapest the cheapest one for 3 bucks and change, after that 4 to $5 with only 10 listings. The heal trigger for Link Jokers is slightly going up, going back up, going back up in the market. I'm glad to see that at least one, one of the heal triggers from the clans that counter charges or, or soul charges is actually either retaining its value or going up a little tiny bit. Now you guys already know. If we're talking about Gear Chronicles, we have to talk about this card, Pulsar Cruising Dragon. This card at one point was going for $9 to $10 to $12, but then it crashed super hard when Gear Chronicles unfortunately became irrelevant at one point. Uh, <clears throat> this card at one point was a dollar, even like 75 cents. It was so bad. No one was buying them. But now there's only five listings, one for $4. After that, $7, and then eventually $8. Five listings. The price spike on this card is real. The hype train for Gear Chronicles is real. Ladies and gentlemen, like, honestly, come on. Even the market price was $1.78. Was like, we knew this card would go back up, would go back up the market because this card is a phenomenal grade 2. But again, a lot of people are still questioning the fact that will Zodiac Time Beast actually make a return in, pre in premium format? We're not too sure yet. We don't know the the other units that we're getting that we're getting in the Gear Chronicles set. So again, Pulsar Cru Cruising Dragon. This card could be a flop. It could be going going up in price from the reason, because God forbid we're not going to get more Zodiac Time Beasts. But if we do, Pulsar Cruising Dragon is definitely going to be a money card. More Gear Chronicles support. Bind Time Dragon. The SPs are being bought off the market with only three listings. Two of them for six bucks and change. After that, twelve dollars and change broken but it gets better the triple r version of buy time dragon there's only two listings going for going for five bucks and change five bucks and change after that six dollars and change <laughs> what is going on the hype train for gear chronicles is real people are doing their own buyouts again potentially buying time buying time dragon actually might be a money card later on but i'm pretty sure right now as of my opinion i feel like it's just a hype bio buying time dragon shouldn't be shouldn't be this high in value but again that could be wrong could be right comment down below let me know what you guys think now the original sps chrono fame tigers are going for seven to eight bucks while the reprinted sps are going for seven dollars and then and then jumping up to nine dollars dollars with only six listings so the sp versions of chrono fame tigers are definitely up in the market uh, the triple R's are still five bucks each, but what's actually still value, which, which which actually surprises me a lot, the triple R version of Chrono Fang Tiger G's are still holding at three bucks and change, three dollars and change, broken. Fun fact, I'm pretty sure we already covered this card a few mark watches ago, but Silverthorn Assistant Zelmas are still money and they're being bought off the market once again with only four listings. This rare grade one for Silverthorns, which is basically a purple trapezius for Silverthorns, are about to leave the market. The cheapest ones are going for three bucks and change. After that, it's leaving the market at five dollars and then eventually seven dollars and change. Now to talk about a little minus. This progenitor stride is unfortunately going down in value. The SGRs for the progenitor stride for Zoo Nations are down to 15 bucks and change, but the GR, the regular version GR, is down to barely five dollars. That is actually pretty sad. I, I, I honestly assumed that all, all the progenitor strides would either hold their value or go up in, or go up in value. But unfortunately, this one for Zoo Nations is actually going down in value, which is actually pretty sad. Now, since this market watch is almost all about Gear Chronicles, why not go over a set only dedicated to Gear Chronicles, Gear of Fate? Gear Groovy's the SPs are 26 bucks. Uh, Chrono Tiger Rebellion SPs are still 16, 16 to 17 bucks. Not too surprised about that. But the SP Chrono Dragon next stages are at 15 bucks, and then after that, 17 dollars and change, and then and then after that, 24 dollars with only seven listings. So the price spike for Chrono Dragon next stage SPs are going up the market. The Late Blazer Dragon SPs are still 30 bucks, and apparently after that, 40 dollars, which is not gonna happen. But the Triple R version of Gear Groovy's are up in the market. They're above the market price. The cheapest one for 16 bucks, after that, $20 with only four listings. I found this out as soon as someone bought all of my gear groovies for 14 bucks and change, and I looked it up. I was like, oh my God, people are buying out gear groovies. They're leaving the market. It's becoming a $20 card again, broken. Uh, Chrono Dragon, uh, sorry, Chrono Dran SPs are, are above the market price, holding at 12 bucks and change. 
again, everyone is on the Gear Chronicle hype train. They're buying out cards, left to right. Even the rare version of Chrono Dragon uh, Next Stage are above the market price. One listing for eight bucks. After that, nine dollars and change, and then eventually eleven dollars with only four listings. The rare cop, the rare version of this card, by the way, is actually going, actually heading towards the ten dollar range. Now this one's fine. The Triple R Chrono Dragon uh, Chrono Tiger Rebellion is going for fifteen bucks. After that, nineteen dollars with only five listings. The buyout is real. It's above the market price. It's, oh my god, it's just insane. Again, guys, people are on the Gear Chronicle hype trains. If you guys have Gear Chronicle cards from, pre from premium format, I recommend to list them up because this is the best time to get rid of Gear Chronicle cards. Overall, this is the best time to put up card to put up any cards on the market because Black Friday and Cyber Monday is around the corner, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. So remember, put up your singles now. It is one of the best times to get rid of cards. But the last thing that I want to talk about is actually Chrono Dragon Next Stage. The the Secret Rare is still still holding its price at 62, 63 bucks. The SP, which we just saw, is holding at 15 bucks, and then eventually 18 to 23 to 23 dollars. But the original generation rare Chrono Dragon Next Stage is actually above the market price at 10 bucks with only five listings. So we just so we just saw almost all the, all the different rarities of Chrono Dragon Next Stage. There's only a few limited listings of each one. There's four listings for the rare one. There's five listings for the for the Generation R one. There's seven listings for the SP and only five listings for the, for the for the Secret Rare. Of course, no of course no one's gonna pay attention to the SP and the, and the Secret Rare. But the cheapest versions of this card, there's only five listings for this one and only four listings for the rare. So the, the so the demand for Chrono Dragon next stage is real. Like they're going up in the market. I hope you guys are actually I, I hope you guys held on to your Chrono Dragon next stages because this is actually insane. I never saw a card with multiple low listings of each rarity. That's actually pretty insane. So that's the end of our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did indeed enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, check out our channel for more videos, hit the bell button for notifications to know when our videos are up and running, and it's free. No charge whatsoever. But today's market watch was actually pretty spicy. A lot of buyouts, a lot of Gear Chronicle buyouts, and it is insane. This is such a good time to put up Gear Chronicles up in the market because this is the best time to sell any TCG cards during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. One of the best times, honestly. The Gear Chronicle hype train is real. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to toot my horn, but toot toot, Gear Chronicle cards are up in the market. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys next Thursday on our, our standard market watch. And if not, I'll see you next Friday on our premium market watch. All right, guys. Deuces.